Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how antiseptics or antibiotics are going to affect bacterial growth. So I've done the experiment for you and I just want to thank Tuition Kit who have been sponsoring me and allowing me to buy all of this equipment. Their website is fantastic, it allows you to take all of your revision videos, all of my revision videos, loads of other revision videos and schedule them so that you can fit everything in time for your exams and you don't miss anything else. When we look at how bacteria responds to antibiotics, what we need is a plate. We need a culture of the antibiotics. And what I've done is just put some of this culture onto the plate and let it dry. I'm now gonna put three different antibiotic discs on here, streptomycin, penicillin at two different strengths. Then we can follow the growth of the bacteria up to and around the disc and test the sensitivities. We can now leave those to grow um, over a few days and then look at the growth later. Having incubated the plate for a few days, you can see we have our antibiotic discs and bacteria has grown around them. So if you look here, very, very faint here, hopefully you can see a clear zone around this antibiotic disc. Now we're going to measure that clear zone. I'm measuring the radius. It is best if you measure the diameter, but you'll notice this has such a large clear zone, it would go off the plate. Measuring in two different locations, in case your clear zone is asymmetrical, going from the centre to the edge, centre to the edge, we have a clear zone radius of 2.5 centimetres. The clear zones around the penicillin discs for Albus is very, very small, but for the streptomycin, we've got a nice big show of antibiotic sensitivity. So for this video I used antibiotic discs but you can make your own discs. All you need is a hole punch, some filter paper, punch out little discs about this size and then soak it in stuff and leave it to dry. Um, so like bleach, toilet cleaner, vinegar, anything you could find that you can use in the classroom pop those onto your plates and then see what the clear zones look like. This is just another way of doing the experiments. 